Oh, man. Hello. How, how, how do I hear the questions? Uh, oh, hey, right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, we'll start first with Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyreek, can you take us through your touchdown late in the fourth quarter? And, and when, when did, during that play did you know you were going to score? Man, you know what? You know, I always got faith, you know, each and every time I step on the field that I'm going to score. You know, sometimes it may not happen, but, you know, that time, you know, it was, it was two-man coverage, you know, safe, safety's very deep. You know, the corner was inside leverage, and th that's just Pat, you know, you know, knowing exactly when, when I'm going to break. Perfect timing, you know, perfect execution, perfect play call, you know, and the rest is history. You know, I was able to use my speed, you know, to get into the end zone. So I'm just very, I'm just very thankful, you know, just to be, you know, able to say that I'm a part of this team, a part of this organization, you know, so yeah, man. Let's go next to Herbie Tiope. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Tyreek Hill. Congratulations on the win. Uh, yeah. Obviously, there are a lot of emotions, a lot of stuff happening in that last two minutes of the game. How, how would you describe what was happening on the sidelines to, to deal with that roller coaster of being up and all of a sudden you have to battle back and then being up again? You know what, man? We got tremendous leaders. Tremendous leaders on both sides of the, of the ball, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, you know. So nobody panicked, you know. Nobody really, you know, was like, oh, the game is over, 13 seconds left, you know. So, I mean, we just went out, you know, made plays, and like I said, the rest is history, you know. Like, we got a great, you know, head coach, great offensive coordinator, and obviously a great quarterback, and we also got the playmakers to go along with it. So everything's great right now. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Tyreek, I was wondering, what do you what do you think tonight's performance means in the course of, of Patrick Mahomes' career and, and getting this thing done for you guys? Oh, this is definitely another step for him, you know, into the Hall of Fame. Um, he had a chance to prove once again he's definitely at the top of the ham when it comes down to, like, quarterbacks in this league. And, you know, we know it, but I feel like the rest of the league sometimes, sometimes doubt him um, because of, you know, the coach and, you know, the players that um, he has around him. But if you watch the guy, like, if you truly know Pat, like, the amount of time, you know, he spends watching film, you know, understanding coverages and stuff like that, and also being able to, to just go out there and, and make a play out of, out of, out of nothing. It's crazy. So he's definitely, I, I feel like he top two and he not two. Like, I, I just feel like that. Herbie, I think I'm out of cut you off there. Go ahead, Herbs. Yeah, no problem. Ty Tyreek, uh, Andy Reid was telling us that in the last 13 seconds, he said to Patrick, when it's grim, go be the grim reaper. In, in your opinion, was Mahomes the grim reaper in those 13 seconds there? Oh, definitely. Like, uh, he definitely doesn't flinch, especially in moments like that, because I feel like we practice those situations. You know, Eric B. Enemy, like, he harps each and every Friday, you know, on, on those situations about – you know, middle rebound passes or just quick passes and, and calling time out and stuff like that. You know, although, you know, on Friday, you know, hearing him say those words, like you never know those situations are going to come up and those meetings are boring, you know. So you just got to you just got to hone in, you know, like all of us do, you know, and just, you know, and just want to, you know, take it in and be great. And that's what we did. 13 seconds, you know, he, he threw the ball for me for, to, for, for 20 yards, I believe. Then he came right back to Kelsey real quick. And I'm catching the cramp right now as we speak. Oh, my God. Oh, guys. Ooh, hold on. Go ahead, Brett. <laughs> uh, we got two more. We'll take mm. uh, the first one from Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Um, <laughs> uh, Tyreek, uh, Andy said that when Patrick gets in the huddle, he, he says every, every time, let's be great. I'm wondering if the mood – even with 13 seconds left, drastic situation, if it changed at all, if you still heard those words from him going in, and just, just I, I guess, the level of ease or, or, or you know, non-nerves that you felt in that moment. Like I said, nobody never flinched a moment, you know, but Coach Reed, like he said, he, he's always telling Pat to be great because he is great, you know, just trying to, you know, add more confidence into him, you know, and um, even into us also because sometimes 13 seconds, you're looking at the clock, you're like, ah, you know, but deep down inside, we like, hey, we can do this because we got the playmakers to do it and we got the coaches to do it, you know, and 
everything everything just worked out tonight perfectly exactly how how it was supposed to work out we'll ask to matt Derek. go ahead matt Hey, Tyreek, uh, a couple of quick questions for you. Um, yeah, but first, on the, on the touchdown, with a minute left to go, any thought to you of, you know, should maybe go down at the one-yard line, or was it you guys in the position right there, you just wanted to get in the end zone? Look, man, I'm a dog, dog. Look, when, game, when the game on the line, come to 10, baby, feed booby. Hey. Look, that's what they said on, on Friday Night Lights, feed booby, man. Um, EB, um, nobody said church mode. Coach, you didn't say church mode. EB ain't say, say church mode. Patrick Mahomes ain't say ch- church mode. So I'm going to get a touchdown. Why not? And plus, I had like a crazy touchdown celebration plan, but Pat, he like stopped it. So it's crazy. And, and, and secondly, on the on the punt return, when you get a second chance at it and you got a little bit of that, the, the Arrowhead crowd giving the Tyreek chant, yeah. did they get your juices going there? Yeah, man. It definitely got my juices going, man. But I'm a little washed up, man. I, I got to say it, man. Because r- rookie year me, I probably would have cribbed that. But six years in, nah, man, I'm, I'm tired. I'm stumbling out there, man. I'm. I got to do better, man. Come on, Tim. Tyreek, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us.